So, this is the Norman Town, and I give you an update of the last weeks and what we are doing. If you don't know the Norman Town yet, a resilience hub in the edge of, well, as it feels, edge of civilization, edge of ourselves, and edge of this town here in Eastern Finland. Um, we are experimenting with high level sustainability off grid since August 2019. Uh, very new, everything, and very exciting. And the last month was a bit special last week, so the last uh, moon, like we practiced this full moon, full stop tool here, uh, survival tool, very useful, please check out other videos uh, about this tool. Um, and our priority um, with most of us, yeah, we had differences, but we all had um, community, the survival priority community as one of our priorities for this month. And food, especially for me, was another one. Um, yeah, very interesting. We got basically pretty much all food covered without using money. Like, uh, we bought some oats and yeah, that was oil, I think. Yeah, coconut oil. And otherwise everything is dumpstered. It's quite sad that there is so much to be dumpstered, that so much food is going away. Um, and we hope to do something with the sharing in this one. Please, local community, have a look at Olio, O-L-I-O. -O. It's a sharing app, very useful for this. So what's next? Um, then the last ones we had also like tried to make a revival somehow of the experiment in 2018. I was part of an experiment where we tried one month not to use fossils, money or not making rubbish. And that was a very successful experiment, one month that really went by very fast and we learned a lot of lessons and most of all I think the normal town is actually a direct result of this experiment and so this year uh, there was the idea to do this again um, we were lacking a few people um, nevertheless we spent a good time in some dal court helping in dal court uh, upholding the same criteria of the experiment and a dal court is like a finished together working system like community work where we just meet and help each other uh, and for over a few days so staying there a few days or even week or so um, yeah and Dalcourt we will need to have some Dalcourt here upcoming also felting Dalcourt for a year um, and probably some other Dalcourt always welcome here in the Nomad Town please get in touch before you come um, yeah, back to the full moon full stop. Our priorities from the last month was the, um, the food and community. We really work hard on the communities. Like we live on very small space together um, and basically just get to know a new lifestyle and get to know ourselves here and each other. So um, that's very exciting times. And yeah, like for example, in the Europe with 25 square meters, uh, we basically pretty much can yeah we live there we can live there good with three people it's tight but it's like on a boat so and we are going to move some stuff around i'm going to move my yurt a few meters back to kind of get a bit out of the center and create some more space um and yeah next time also berry picking the raspberries are ripe uh, next week we want to be a bit more I always say we, I don't know who is all going to join because there's people here who do not take part in the experiment and there is people who do. So, and um, yeah, there's still possibility to join also. So um, next week I would like to go completely forest food only and or wild food only and refuse the dumpstered foods as good as I yeah, I can. I think that's quite possible. And also look into dehydrating fruits, building a dehydrator. Um, and there's so many other projects to do. Very exciting. And some observation from the last full moon full stop, uh, which is still going on in my head, is um, how much good things are going on. Like, especially when uh, we stay away a bit from following the um, international media because I believe that a whole lot of bad news makes it into the news and the, a lot of good stuff doesn't make it there. And the good stuff is something that we find, or I find here in my surroundings, 
why so many people involved in projects uh, where yeah, low impact is a priority and also where there is a shared understanding that we are all one, that there is like us and nature is the same and that we need to work and live um, for each other and through each other. Also uh, a shared understanding of, um, yeah, how far can we go with activism? Is it even our role to to um, change or what do we even, yeah, I think we need a lot of change in the world. The only thing that I can do is I, I can share the fo survival tool, full moon, full stop. I think it's a very valuable tool. Um, and yeah, I recommend looking into using this. Um, but otherwise, I think we are all responsible for ourselves and I, we cannot be responsible for others, especially if there's so much to do in our own lives, like um, yeah, getting away from the supermarkets. Hui, that's a challenge. That's a real challenge. Yeah. Um, what else? I have a little note here. Um, yeah, the next full moon is the 3rd of August. And yeah, I try to keep updates sometimes. And that was one. And maybe you have seen some changes in the background from last videos. We have um, the gotha here and there in front of the gotha is a small greenhouse now and uh, a trampoline that we got and will probably turn into a chicken tractor or double use function it. And yeah, that was it. And I show. Yeah, that's the, actually the background. Hmm. Bye bye. Have good times. Take care.